New fallout ahead of tomorrow's graduation ceremony at Bethune-Cookman University. Petitions were handed in today in an effort to stop Education Secretary Betsy DeVos from delivering the commencement address. Now we're hearing there will also be a protest march. News 6's Vanessa Ariza joins us live at the Daytona Beach campus with today's development. So, Vanessa, how many petitions were actually handed in, and did it get any response from the president of the university? Ginger, the students say that they had more than 60,000 signatures. They uh, dropped off six boxes. However, the president never came out to talk with them when they were in his office earlier today. They say even though graduation is less than 24 hours away, they are going to make it a point to make sure that their voices are heard until they have that piece of paper in their hand. Um, I don't think it's too late. Um, I think we have been in contact. Um, we have been trying to get contact from Dr. Jackson and the Board of Trustees since we found out about this information. Thousands of petitions in hand. Dominic Whitehead and fellow students walk straight to the president's office this afternoon. Their goal? Make it known in person. They don't want Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos at their commencement. We really haven't had face to face contact with him. So we figure if you're not going to listen to our opinions via Internet or any other way that we're trying to contact you, then you can't be proof that's in your face. Six boxes were dropped off at the president's office. It was three different um, petitions that were sent out and all together we have over 60,000 signatures. So that is 20 times the amount of students that even go to BCU, which proves that it's bigger than just us. This is a, a nationwide issue. Well, we're in contact with the students and, and they're relaying to us that it's a it's a sentiment that they want heard, and I think they're doing it the appropriate way. Campus Safety Chief Gregory Elder signed off on the petitions and says the school supports the students' difference of opinions. I called and emailed the university to get a comment from them in regards to those tens of thousands of petitions that were dropped off earlier this afternoon. As of right now, I have yet to hear back from them. Ginger.